Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special special guest, the CEO of Poda Lifestyle and Wellness Limited, Ryan Selby. How are you doing today, Ryan? Hey, I'm doing very well. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Great to be here. Excited, excited. to yeah, talk yeah. the Poda story with your viewers. And yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited to learn more about the company. We've done this before. We're doing it again. And hopefully we can continue to do this more often and we love to learn about early stage companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and our community's always looking to sink their teeth in companies that they can make money with. So Ryan, maybe since we got you back in the show, you can give us a little bit of an overview on POTA and what you guys have been doing recently in the cigarette market. Yeah, so you know, super excited to, uh, to share what our recent updates with you. Um, just a basic overview. POTA has spent the last six years developing um, the world's first and only closed-ended heat not burn cigarette. Uh, and what that means, it allows us to have a, a heat not burn product that has truly zero contamination of the heating device. That means every single stick has exactly the same experience, no degradation of the, the, the heating performance, the flavor, and additionally, no contamination between different pods. Uh, so that now enables us to do some really exciting things in the heat not burn space uh, in terms of different flavors, uh, different substances. So our system works extremely well with organic tobacco, processed tobacco, reconstituted tobacco, tobacco alternatives like our Beyond Burn blend that we've developed, uh, which basically is a blend of tea leaves and synthetic nicotine blended to perfectly mimic the tobacco experience without any tobacco ingredients. Uh, and that's really important because it allows us to sell our product a at incredible price points because we're not subject to the same duties and taxes as many tobacco derived products would be and b it opens up a huge amount of additional markets that we can enter with our tobacco free product which otherwise would be uh, either prohibited or extremely difficult into a number of different markets globally uh, for example the united states with the recent FDA crackdown on e-cigarettes and tobacco products, the PMTA from the FDA um, basically means that any company wanting to sell a tobacco product or a tobacco a product for use with tobacco products into the United States needs to be approved by the PMTA. With our completely tobacco-free synthetic nicotine product, we are not currently subject to the FDA's jurisdiction. Uh, we have additionally entered into the PMTA process with a tobacco product for POTA. Um, and that's a strategic move for us in order to show the FDA that we're well aware of their requirements. We're complying 100% with their, their PMTA and FDA regulations. Um, and we fully intend to sell a tobacco product into the United States after receiving PMTA approval. Prior to that, we will sell absolutely no tobacco products in the United States, and there will be no way for consumers in the United States to use our product with tobacco. Uh, and that enables us to enter into the market in a, a rapid way and to potentially capture some significant market share left by the, the void that has been created by this uh, looming FDA crackdown. And so really excited about that. Uh, additionally, our product can be used in the, the cannabis state space, the CBD space. We're in uh, developing a, a cannabis and a caffeine product as well. Uh, and so we have a number of different verticals. And what's so exciting from a consumer perspective is the ability to use one device with many different sticks and no contamination between them. So theoretically, you could use a caffeine stick in the morning, tobacco sticks during the day, and a CBD product at night. There's no contamination between them, no flavor cross, uh, and it really allows a maximum level of consumer choice in terms of consuming different inhalable molecules uh, um, through a system that I think gives maximum flexibility and really returns some significant value. Now, from the business side, that really gives us a huge opportunity to enter into so many different markets around the world. Um, so currently, we're, we're rolling out our Beyond Burn product. Uh, into a number of markets. We've just received an order for 500,000 pods from a large customer. Uh, we're progressing with a number of exciting distribution and white label opportunities, uh, which I'll be bringing out as, as those firm up. Um, but it's really an exciting time for us as, as a company. Uh, we also have raised over $20 million um, in the last few months 
which really gives us the ability to scale our production, uh, which we, so we've now invested in, in a dramatic increase in our production abilities, which is really shaping up to make 2022 uh, an incredible year for growth for us. You know, we've spent the last six years developing an incredible product, putting together a fantastic team of individuals. And now we see a tremendous amount of blue sky ahead of us as we roll our products out into markets around the world. Um, so yeah, fantastic, fantastic timing for us. You guys have been busy. Yeah. Like well, Raising yeah. money, big orders. Uh, you're already talking about 2022. So you obviously have a lot of goals. Let's talk about that. Can you go through some of the up and coming milestones that are set for POTA in the last quarter of this year and the first quarter of 2022? Yeah, so by the end of the year, we'll have our, our new production facility should be turning out well over 10 million pods per month, um, which is a fantastic initial volume. And, you know, that sounds like a, a huge number, but really that's just scratching the surface of what we can do with this product. Um, you know, our goal is to be selling billions of sticks per month, and, and we think that's an attainable goal in the, the you know, short to near term future. Um, but obviously, you know, you've got to start somewhere. Uh, we've got our pilot production facility cranking out 400,000 pods a month. We're delivering orders from that. We're building out our, our you know, first larger scale production capacity. Uh, and then on the heels of that, really the sky's the limit as we continue to roll. Um, so in terms of exciting milestones, you know, uh, uh, obviously customer acquisition is huge. As we continue to roll out our product, uh, we're going to be announcing a number of partnerships with uh, existing distributors and, and other white label opportunities which really allow us an incredibly rapid way to deploy our, our product into different markets. Uh, and that means, you know, they have on the ground distribution facilities, they have point of sale communication abilities to educate consumers about the benefits of our product. Uh, they have facilities in place for wide scale distribution and marketing of the product. And that's really something that allows us to focus on what we do best, which is developing incredible products to sell into the market and letting our partners really move the product out on the ground. Um, and then, you know, down the road, there's tremendous opportunities for POTA to open our own distribution channels, um, as well as, you know, direct to consumer opportunities and a number of other paths, which we think, you know, really complete the, the full picture of, of what POTA can be as a, a company where our goal is really to, to compete head on with the biggest tobacco companies in the world. Uh, you know, I, I'm a huge believer in the potential for heat, not burn to radically change the world uh, by heating tobacco instead of burning it. You can eliminate the vast majority of harmful constituents that are found in the smoke of tobacco. Uh, and it's the actual burning process which creates almost all of the harmful toxicants. So by eliminating the burning, you can really eliminate uh, just a huge amount of the potential downside associated with smoking. Uh, and I think this is, you know, like I said, it's something I'm extremely passionate about using advanced and fantastic technology to impact people's lives for the better. Uh, and so I, you know, I'm, I'm all in on this project. I think this has the potential to be a, a tremendous global player and really change the world uh, for the better moving forward. So. Let's go through the most recent purchase order of 500,000 POTA pods. Is this one of your biggest orders for POTA so far? Yeah, definitely. You know, this, um, we, as a, a growing company, you know, we built out our pilot production facility and, and that is turning out about a maximum of 400,000 pods per month. So uh, we haven't been able to sell a volume as this large until now. Um, so really this just represents the tip of the iceberg. Um, with our, our pilot production, it allows us to continue to supply this customer as they move forward um, and then transition to our larger scale production as we really increase distribution. So, uh, you know, we're tremendously excited about this. I think it's a, a fantastic first step. Uh, and, but like I said, you know, 500,000 sounds like a large number, but really uh, I view that as, as just the absolute tip of the iceberg for what we're going to be doing. So. Sounds exciting. Sounds like you guys have a very fast growing company. And I know our investors here at Rich TV Live, we love to get on the early side of these trains when they're about to take off. And you guys have already been a success based on the stock price. Now, let's talk about the product and the health risks associated to it. So we saw in one of your recent press releases that the heat pods from POTA can possibly help lower the risks of smoking, the health risk of smoking, which you touched on a bit. Can you tell us how you guys are going about to prove that and what it means for the consumer? 
Yeah, so you know that was a really fantastic study that was conducted by British American Tobacco, uh, primarily focused on their product called the Glow, which is a heat not burn tobacco product. Uh, very similar in many ways to what Poda is doing, um, although suffers from some significant drawbacks that the product, the pod, Poda product has just completely eliminated. Uh, primarily device contamination, as well as uh, the Poda product is able to create a much more robust vapor than the Glow system. And I think that's something that leads to a, a much higher uh, consumer enjoyment and, and adoption rate. Uh, but focused on that study, really, this was a, an incredible study they did where they basically compared people who quit smoking and switched to using a heat not burn product exclusively versus people who use no tobacco products. And then they looked at the, the differences in um, a number of different biomarkers, which allowed them to really start to quantify some of the, the differences in the effects of traditional smoking versus heat not burn versus completely quitting smoking. Um, and you know, I think like I've said, and many people have said, and, and is the truth, the best possible choice for any current smoker is to quit smoking completely. Unfortunately, that's not a reality for many smokers. And so I think that's where products like Heat Not Burn and POTA specifically offer a tremendous middle ground where, yes, it would be better to quit smoking entirely. And we're not saying the POTA product is completely without risks. Uh, what we are saying is that based on the science, the risks associated with using POTA products are dramatically lower than risks associated with combustible cigarettes. And so providing an opportunity for consumers to switch from a higher risk combustible cigarette to a, a much reduced risk um, heat not burn cigarette really creates an opportunity where instead of having to just quit, they can switch to a, a reduced risk system and continue to enjoy the habit that they're accustomed to. Uh, and I think that's the real tremendous opportunity for heat not burn globally is to take the place of, of combustible cigarettes. You know, I think it's time for the world to move past the hundreds of years old technology of burning tobacco simply to extract the tiny amount of nicotine you're getting in the smoke. Um, you know, if you think about an analogy, it's basically throwing a, some small amount of cedar onto a fire to get that little aroma of cedar and taking all of the campfire smoke and everything else that comes with it, when really you can just heat up the, the cedar to get the odor of the cedar. Uh, there's no reason to be burning all of the plant material along with it. And I think until recently, technology wasn't at the point which would have allowed us to do this in a way that was, you know, satisfactory or enjoyable from a consumer perspective. Uh, and now that we have developed the technology and we have the ability to deliver a product that not only satisfies consumers' flavor and taste requirements, but is also convenient and enjoyable to use, I think this is just the beginning of a global transformation in the entire tobacco industry. Uh, and I'm not alone in saying this, you know, if you look at every big tobacco company in the world, they're all moving towards this same outcome because I think the writing is on the wall. People love smoking, but they hate dying. So find a way to provide a product for them that allows them to continue smoking without the substantial risks associated with combustible smoking. That's very well said. They love smoking, but they hate dying. Um, I don't think you could say it better than that. I think everyone who smokes knows it's bad for them, but they do it anyways because they enjoy it. So um, I really respect what you guys are doing in a very, very big, robust sector where there's enormous growth potential for you guys, obviously just getting started. Now, in saying that, if Poto Lifestyle and Wellness Limited were to compare itself to competitors in the heat pod sector, what would you say set you guys apart? Well, a number of important factors, uh, you know, first, our closed ended pods are entirely unique in the world. Uh, and that allows us to have a true zero cleaning system, as well as it opens the door for us to do a total variety of substances that is just impossible in any other open ended cigarette. Um, and so what that means is it gives us the opportunity to enter into the tobacco market, to enter into tobacco alternatives market to enter into the CBD space, the cannabis space, the caffeine space, the medicinal herb space. Um, and that allows us to compete head on with some of the biggest tobacco companies in their own playing field, the tobacco space, but also to enter markets, which currently they really don't have any technology which would allow them to enter into the market. 
And so we can really, I think, make substantial inroads in a number of different markets and compete with them in a, you know, a bit more of a creative way than traditional tobacco companies are, are used to, to competing. And so I think that that is a major differentiator. Additionally, our pods are made from a proprietary blend of plant cellulose, which we spent a number of years working with chemists and laboratories around the world to develop. Um, and this plant cellulose material is entirely biodegradable. And that's something that I think is really, in, in, from a personal level, I'm so passionate about not putting more trash into the world. You know, studies have shown that cigarette butts are the single most littered item in the world. Um, if you go to beaches around the world, the vast majority of litter on beaches is cigarette butts. Um, and, you know, many people may not be aware that the filter in traditional cigarette butts is made of a cellulose acetate material, which is essentially a type of cellulose plastic. And that material really never breaks down. It bio disperses into microplastics in the environment over a period of years to thousands of years. Um, and so every time a cigarette butt is littered, it's putting microplastic out into the world. Um, and this is something that, you know, the world is starting to take notice of. There's regulations coming in in the EU banning single use plastics. These regulations are spreading around the world. Uh, there's duties and taxes being levied on plastic products. And so with our completely biodegradable pod, that gives us a footprint to provide an entirely biodegradable cigarette solution. And that's something that none of our competitors are doing. Um, additionally, we've just signed a supply agreement with a company called Green Butts, who has developed an, a fantastic, truly biodegradable filtered option. And that allows us then to both provide unfiltered POTA cigarettes that are completely biodegradable, as well as filtered cigarettes, which are also completely biodegradable. Uh, and I think that's something that truly sets us apart in the both in the heat not burn space, but as well in the e-vapor and, and the e-cigarette space where, you know, every single e-cigarette pod that's disposed of contains metals, plastics, heavy metals, glass often, a number of non-recyclable materials. And each time one of those is disposed, you're not only disposing of the actual unit that you dispose of, you're also disposing of the entire supply chain that went into creating that one product. And then you're throwing that in the trash. So really, I think we're, we're just so well poised to really disrupt the entire nicotine delivery space, whether that's, that's heat, not burn tobacco, or whether that's electronic cigarettes. Uh, I think our product is really well poised to just offer a tremendous choice to consumers as well as a responsible biodegradable stewardship um, for the actual consumable product. What markets are you guys looking to enter into the next 12 months? I know you've mentioned international business. You guys looking to get into the European market, any specific countries? Yeah, I mean, really, Heat Not Burn is, is well developed in two major regions around the world. One is in Asia, in Japan, which is basically the, the global leader in Heat Not Burn. Almost 25% of the Japanese smoking population has switched to using Heat Not Burn in five years. Wow. And really, that can't be overstated, the incredible rapid nature of that. In five years, 25% of the entire Japanese cigarette market has transitioned to using Heat Not Burn products. Um, and I think that's something that people should take note of, really. Like, you mean five years ago, there was no heat not burn. And now 25% of the market has, has already transitioned to it. And it's showing no signs of slowing down. Every year, more and more and more customers are added to the system. Um, and so I think that is a, a tremendous opportunity for us in the Asian market, as well as uh, heat not burn has made some success. Some substantial inroads into the European market. And I think that creates uh, a very well-primed market for POTA to bring our products into uh, because, you know, many people are versed of using heat, not burn. They enjoy the, the benefits of the reduced risk system, but they struggle with some of the challenges of heat, not burn products, primarily the cleaning requirements and the, the non-robust vapor that's delivered by many of our competitors. And so, it, I think, provides a really easy and rapid way for us to introduce our product into existing heat not burn markets where there's less upfront marketing required to educate consumers about the benefits of heat not burn and how to use heat not burn products. Um, but that being said, I also think there's a tremendous opportunity in the North American market, especially with the recent FDA crackdown on, on e-cigarettes. You know, that's going to leave a tremendous void in the market of people who 
used to smoke cigarettes, switched to using electronic cigarettes, and now are looking at a system saying, what am I supposed to do now? Enter POTA. Here's the better alternative that allows them to continue a reduced risk habit without having to go back to combustible cigarettes. Uh, and with our synthetic nicotine beyond burn blend, we're not subject to the FDA's PMTA requirements, which allows us to start selling into that market in the near future. Um, so that's on the on the tobacco and beyond burn space. We see a tremendous opportunity in Asia, Europe, and in the North American market. But additionally, we see tremendous opportunities in the CBD and cannabis space, both in the North American market for cannabis, where in the jurisdictions where it would be legal, uh, and for the CBD space, really on a global level. Um, the POTA product is a fantastic delivery vehicle for CBD, and I think it, it's a really a, a tremendous opportunity for us moving forward. Um, and then additionally, with our caffeine product, you know, we think that has global applicability for a number of customers. And I'm not suggesting that people would entirely replace their caffeine consumption um, with using a, a POTA caffeine product. I think there are opportunities for people to supplement their caffeine intake from coffee or other sources with perhaps um, alternative ways of consuming caffeine, which may have less impact on, on some of their overall um overall life. But uh, I think that represents a, a very interesting opportunity for us moving forward. Um, and then additionally, we, with the appointment of our chief medical officer, Dr. Jagdeep Gupta, he's putting together an incredible pilot study that is going to basically aims to demonstrate the scientific efficacy of POTA's products for use as a smoking cessation program. And I think that's something that I'm also really passionate about is providing smokers with the tools they need to quit smoking successfully. You know, uh, I think it would be incredible if we lived in a world where nobody smoked tobacco. Um, unfortunately, I think that's a long way. Maybe that will never happen. Um, and so, you know, really, I'm passionate about both providing reduced risk options for people who want to continue smoking and providing effective cessation tools for those who wish to quit smoking entirely. Uh, and so I see a number of major opportunities across markets, um, really on a, on a truly global level. Uh, and over the next, you know, year, two, three, five, ten years, uh, I envision POTA really capturing significant market share across many different verticals on a truly global level. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders and potential new investors to know about POTA lifestyle and wellness today, what would that be? Well, I would say. You know, six years ago, I came up with the idea to build the world's best heat not burn product. Much easier said than done. Six years later, I've created something that I'm extremely proud of um, and I think is now ready to, to be rolled out at a truly global level. We just took our company public in May of this year. Uh, and since then, you know, we've seen some tremendous appreciation in our stock price, but I still believe our stock is well undervalued for where our, our trajectory is heading. You know, I, my goal is to have POTA listed on the NASDAQ before too long. Um, and I think that when you look at our peers in the tobacco space, uh, the share price that they're commanding is substantial. And I think it's that's a real prize that's out there for us to, to take. Um, and so for, you know, investors and shareholders, I would say this is an opportunity to get in on the ground floor of something with tremendous global potential. You know, it's an $800 billion global tobacco market currently. And we're just so well poised to take a, a large share of that market. Additionally, there are so many other markets which our product has perfect applicability to. And so I think from an investor point of view, you know, this is a, an opportunity to get in on something that has the potential to dramatically increase in value. You know, I think if you were to invest in, in some of our larger heat not burn competitors, I think a lot of the upside potential is somewhat limited because they're already at scale and now they're transitioning customers from their current combustible cigarettes to reduced risk heat not burn and other reduced risk products. Whereas I see with POTA, you know, we're starting from the ground up here and we have a tremendous amount of blue sky ahead of us. Um, and so, you know, I, like I'm not selling any shares, none of our officers, we're all super long on this product. Like we believe that, you know, a dollar fifty, two dollar share price is just a fraction of, of what we can attain as a company. Um, and so we're all completely committed to the long term growth of this. Uh, and I would say, you know, from an investor point of view, I think this represents something that has the potential to deliver some pretty substantial returns in the future.
Now, obviously, business is challenging. Uh, there are, you know, nobody has a crystal ball of what the future will hold. I'm 100% all in on this. I spend basically every waking hour of my life thinking about how to build this company, how to take this to the next level. Uh, and so, you know, I, I believe that we have a tremendous opportunity here to really capitalize on a, a tremendous transition in the world, moving from higher risk combustible products to lower risk heated products. Um, and so, you know, as time goes on, uh, I guess, you know, the story will continue to unfold. Um, I'm just so excited about what I'm doing. I love coming to work every day. Uh, it's fantastic to get to operate in a space with so much potential, both to generate revenues and returns, as well as to make a substantial difference in the world. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just extremely committed to ESG principles and to growing this company, not only in a rapid way, but also in a sustainable and ethical way. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's an exciting time for POTA. I definitely encourage people to, to stay tuned and pay attention to what we're doing. Um, and I, I really think 2022 is going to be a tremendous year for us. So, yeah. That's... That sounds fantastic. Now, we've got investors from all over the world that are going to see this interview that are going to be very interested, most likely, in this product. What's the best way for them to get in contact with you or the company if they have any questions? Yeah, so basically, I would suggest people go to our website at potalifestyle.com. Uh, through there, you can you can contact us at our investor relations. Um, alternatively, you know, uh, we're basically I, I love to hear from from all of our potential investors. I, I'm a, extremely busy, but I try to make time to speak with anybody who who really wants to connect. Uh, and so, I would encourage people to send us an email. Uh, you can send an email to info at potalifestyle.com. Uh, you can follow our stock on the CSE under the ticker POTA, on the OTC under the ticker P-O-D-A-F, and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange at uh, the ticker 99L. And um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think, you know, we, we try to bring out news at least on a weekly basis, and we are, you know, continuing to grow the company at a, a very aggressive clip. So yeah, I would say stay tuned and follow along, subscribe to our mailing list. Fantastic. Now here at Rich TV Live, our mandate is to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities before they explode. And we love it when we find a company that goes from small cap to large cap, from the CSE like you're listed and the OTC like you're listed to the NASDAQ would be a phenomenal achievement. And those are the types of rides that we like to go along uh, for here on Rich TV Live. So I must remind everyone that past performance is not an indication of future results. So this is already a huge success story. Stock is up over 200%, started around 50 cents, trading over 150 now in Canada. So over 200% growth already for a very early stage story. And what Ryan said, they've already got money in the bank, relatively tight share structure still. So everything that we look for here at Rich TV Live. Now, I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying it, I think that this is a company that's special, put on your watch list, put on your radar, and I think it needs a lot of exposure. I don't think enough people know about this company yet, despite the fact it's already been a success. Now, Ryan, thank you so much for all your time today. I really appreciate it. Ryan Selby, the CEO of POTA Lifestyle and Wellness. And we'd love to invite you back again to talk, give us updates and break any news. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. Always fun to be here. Love your energy and uh, I love what you do. Uh, and definitely glad to be able to get our story out to uh, your audience. And, and like you said, you know, I want to have as many eyeballs on this as possible. I think we have the potential to do some extremely exciting things. Um, and obviously, the wider the audience we can get, the, the better opportunities we have. So, yeah, thank you for your time. I appreciate it and look forward to coming back soon. Always a pleasure. Keep up the great work from the last time we did the interview till this time. You guys have had huge, huge, huge growth. So I'm very, very excited to see what's going to happen the next interview we do as you guys continue to evolve. Now, remember, guys, if you like these videos, it really helps the algorithm to smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with Ryan Selby, the CEO of Poto Lifestyle and Wellness, saying have a nice day, everybody, and we'll see you soon.